It is June 7th, 2012. I'm Mark Ludwig from the Allegan Conservation District. We're on the John Grant Farm, south of Holland, Michigan. Looking at the flushing bar we built for John this winter. It's part of a conservation innovation grant we were subgranted to from the Michigan DNR. One of the things we did with that grant is distributed tools called flushing bars to five farmers around southwest Michigan. John's is the fifth bar we built. Built and mounted on a heavy steel plate which attaches directly to his front end loader. We really like the uh, being able to put these on the loaders. Flushing bar is a pretty simple tool. It's just a bar which drags some chains ahead of the hay mowing equipment in order to in order to warn wildlife that the mower's coming and try to get them up and out of harm's way. The bars that we built are based on a design we got from Ducks Unlimited Canada. And we did some fairly significant modifications to that. You can kind of see the two big chains that support the bar. We used two chains and about a three foot spreader on top uh, in order to keep the bar centered because we've added what's called a heim joint. To the end of the bar. The one thing I didn't like about the Ducks Unlimited design was there was no way for the bar to pivot if you hit something in the field. Um, the Heim joint, you may be familiar with this if you farm, as the ball joints on the arms of a three-point hitch system. <clears throat> this allows the bar to swing back if you hit something and actually gives it a little more, gives it some play up and down as well. Um, we also have a, there's a pivot point also built right into the bar uh, that we got from the Ducks Unlimited design. And we kept that pivot in place as well. Oops. Let's see, there, the operator demonstrated how far that bar could swing for us there. It's like it got swinging out in front of him. I have to ask him about that. Anyhow, the flushing bar, as far as I can tell from a fairly limited amount of research I did, it's pretty much been around since there have been mechanical mowers. Uh, I found accounts uh, going back into the, the late 1800s, early 1900s. I found a Works Project Administration poster uh, that was done for the Pennsylvania Game Commission uh, back in the 30s, encouraging flushing bar use on horse-drawn mowers. So certainly this problem of killing game and, and wildlife with mechanical mowers is not something that is new. The 
See in this case the operator is able to put that bar right down low. And in addition to the chains ruffling the grass, the bar itself in this case is jingling along with it. say just a little bit about the flushing bar project. This is an ongoing effort that we're going to maintain at the Allegan Conservation District uh, to distribute the information we've, you know, what we've learned in the process of building and deploying these bars. Um, I'm hoping to have a good solid mechanical drawing of the bar. online sometime during 2012. Um, and we're going to keep to the degree possible, continue to build bars. Uh, we're going to place a couple at uh, in area conservation districts with some help from Whitetails Unlimited. And we're going to continue to reach out to the conservation community and the game, the hunting community, and see if we can't sponsor more bars around the state, both in the hands of private farmers, conservation districts, hunt clubs, you know, wherever we think we can put them, where they'll actually get out and get used. Um, we have come up with a design that can either be picked up by a pair of forks on a tractor, uh, or attached directly to a what's called a quick attach. Um, this unit we're looking at today has been built uh, for John to go right on his John Deere quick attach. Um, and we've also been building them on, oh, the, I guess what they're calling the universal quick attach. Um, we've got a couple of guys with Kubota tractors that this is working on. Um, so that's kind of how we're going to pursue that. You can see us on the internet at www.theflushingbarproject.org. And we'll actually, in addition to these videos that we're making, explain what we're up to. We've actually got this morning a tiny little camera. Uh, the kind guys, you know, clip to their helmets and things when they're out mountain biking so they can put crazy videos on YouTube. And that's actually recording off of the mast arm right now, looking directly at the flushing bar. We hope to use some computer vision programs to actually uh, kind of watch those videos for us and See if we can't identify birds actually flushing from the bar. Uh, we wanted to do this especially this uh, mower we're looking at today is what's called a disc mower. Moves quite a bit faster than our traditional sickle bar hay mowers. So one of the things we wanted to do is evaluate the effectiveness of these flushing bars with these higher speed mowers.
I'd like to thank the uh, Natural Resources Conservation Service, the uh, folks who funded the Conservation Innovation Grant that provided funding for this project, uh, and also the Michigan Department of Natural Resources. They actually gave the grant then. They received the grant and they subgranted to the Michigan Department of Agriculture and, and uh, uh, Rural Development. And that money was subsequently passed along to the Allegan Conservation District. And that's how we got the money to do all this. Anyhow, thanks for your attention, thanks for watching, and stay tuned to our website for more information on flushing bars.